Hello class, this is Mr. McAllen again, and today I'm going to give a brief review on how to solve separable differential equations. We did this in class quite quickly the other day, where we went over two problems and how to handle their initial conditions. So today we're going to be doing a similar thing. This is a very similar problem to what we had on Friday. So let's go, let's get into it, and I'll just remind you of the three or four steps we have. You first want to separate Um, variables completely and this means that uh, remember you'll always leave the differential terms in the numerator so I'm going to cross multiply the y to the top and I'm going to cross multiply the dx over to the top right side then we integrate so I'm going to integrate the left side and the right side we're going to have y squared over 2 equals x squared over 2 and remember we have to add a constant and you don't need to add the constant on both sides because um, a constant on the left and a constant on the right will eventually merge to be one constant on one side so we choose out of convention to do it on the right side so now uh, the third step is to solve for the constant so we solve for the constant. Be careful when you plug the values in. Remember, you want to plug the y values where they go. So this is going to be 2 squared over 2 plus 1 squared over 2 equals the constant. The constant will equal uh, 3 halves. And then we plug that constant back in to our original equation. So I have y squared over 2. Not our original, but our... our um, differential equation that we solved and that equals I'm sorry that's going to be plus three halves we can simplify this equation um, by uh, multiplying everything by two so if y squared equals x squared plus three and now we have our solution could be one of two possible solutions and this is step four solve for y as a function of x. So we have our plus or minus component of radical x squared plus 3 and we're going to choose because of our initial condition when we plugged in x we got a positive value for y we're going to choose plus square root of x squared plus 3. That would be our solution to this differential equation. Now this is the one that we did in class. This is just a a brief reminder so that those who are trying to recap what we did on Friday can look back at it and I have as another example a totally new problem that is um, you know uh, a little bit more challenging because there will be a substitution method involved oops trying to be fancy and so I just have boxed in the differential equation we want to solve this is also separable through cross multiplication and we have our initial condition over here so we're going to do the same steps we're going to separate variables so I'm going to leave um, ln of x over x and I'll cross multiply dx over and I'm going to put on the other side I have 4 dy over um, root y now some of you may be wondering oops the 4 should be on the bottom I was wondering that. But some may be wondering why I moved the 4 over. Could I have left it on the right side? Um, either way, the 4 could go on one side or the other. It doesn't really matter. So we have accomplished step 1 of separating variables. The next step is to integrate. So when I integrate the uh, left side, I have 1 fourth and I have dy and 1 over root y. I'm going to just work on the left side for a little bit and that'll be y the negative one half that I'm integrating because there's a square root on the in the denominator so that makes it a negative one half power in the numerator. I'm going to use the power rule on this side so this will be y to the three oops y to the one half when I add one to the power remember I divide by the new power and I have one fourth out in front I also have, uh, when I divide by a fraction, I can multiply by its reciprocal. So, and I'm just about done with the left side because that's going to be one half y the one half. Now, if I want to be um, 
very conscientious. I'm going to take the derivative of this to make sure I got the right answer. So the derivative of uh, y the 1 half would be 1 half y the negative 1 half, and that would be 1 fourth the root of y in the bottom. So I know I got the right answer. I just um, That's my check. But now I'm going to work on the other side. The other side, I have to anti-differentiate ln of x over x. Hopefully, you look at this and you think, wow, um, what a great problem. We're mixing substitution rule with solving differential equations. Um, so we're going to make a u substitution. So I'm going to say, let um, off to the side here, I'm going to focus on integrating ln of x over x dx. And over on the side here, I'm just going to use a little bit of the margin to work. I'm going to set, let my u equal ln of x. I'm going to let my du, I'll solve for that. That'll be 1 over x, and this is dx. I solve for dx as we did when we were working through substitution, and I add x, um, x times du. So I'll replace dx with x du. So when I come back to my um, integral over here, I have, um, I'll just put in red, ln of x is now exchanged with u, dx is now exchanged with x du, and um, I have the x from uh, that was originally in the equation from before. When I make my cancellations, I have a nice simple integral, some would say simple, um, but this is now u du as my um, as my term to integrate. I integrate u du of u squared over 2 plus a constant. And now I make my back substitution. And my back substitution says that <coughs> I'm going to plug natural log in for x, I mean for u. It's going to be squared. And it's going to be over 2 plus a constant. So I finally have my um, my differ differential equation solved out in terms of a general solution. And I now have to solve for my constant. Remember the third step, solve for c. <clears throat> in the original problem, it said y is 1 when x is equal to e. So I'm just going to write that down there, y equals 1 when x is equal to e. That's a convenient choice. So now I'm going to plug in those values. I have 1 half y to the 1 half. I'm just going to write out the whole equation again. When I plug in 1 half of 1 square it, that equals the natural log function squared when I plug in e into that, divided by 2 plus a constant. We should know that um, this is 1 half on the left. This, the natural log of e is 1. So you square 1, you get 2. I'm sorry, you square 1, you get 1, but that's over 1 half also, plus a constant. And so my constant is 0. So I'm imagining they let us off the hook a little bit by giving us a nice easy constant. So now I rewrite the original equation without my constant, because constant is 0. Oops, I don't know what I just did there. OK, so now I have 1 half y to the 1 half equals natural log squared of x uh, over 2. No constant. My last part of the step, step 4, solve for y. So I'm going to um, multiply both sides by 2. So I have the square root of y equals the natural log of um, x being squared. And now I'm going to square both sides again. And I'll have y equals the natural log to the fourth power of x. And that will be my solution to the problem that we started with. Hopefully this helps. Um, and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, comment under the video. Uh, if you found this helpful, please like it or and subscribe to this channel. Take care.